I've known some Until I first met you I was lonesome And when you came inside dear my heart grew light And this whole world seemed new to me You're really swell I have to admit you Deserve expressions that really fit you And so I've racked my brain hoping to explain All the things that you did to me Oh me Mr. Shane Please let me explain Oh me Mr. Shane Means your plan Oh me Mr. Shane said, that's not my wife, that's a camel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. Oh, man, that was great. We are uh, live. Welcome, folks, <laughs> to another episode of That 20-somethings Show. It's good to be back on a Monday, too. It is. It's weird. It's weird to be here on a Monday. Um, Dr. Herman, it's nice to see you once it's more. It's nice to see you, too, Senator Mayor Garcia. <laughs> and, uh, oh, who, who do we have here? 
We have a special guest today. We do. We have a special guest today that I'm super excited about. Uh, this is Brandon. He's uh, one of my friends from my fraternity and from college. and Well, one of our friends, I suppose. He's your friend, too. And yeah, we've done shows together. You can claim him. It's fine. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's Brandon, a degree say of separation. hi to the people. How's it going, everyone? I'm currently plotting to overthrow the government, so if you need any... If you want to help with that, just let me know and follow their stream. They'll update you as I go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. For for uh, live feedback uh, on on his mission to overthrow the government, just follow uh, <laughs> twitch.tv slash Sundance Stream. So we'd be happy to catch you up on all of the important details. Exciting. I want us to get flooded with notifications. <laughs> Oh my goodness, just all kinds of, like every terrorist organization ever is now going to follow our stream. That's, that's fantastic. Great, thanks. You know, that's, that's a plot to a good movie. Right yeah. there. Right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, every view helps, you know. <laughs> yeah, I can't complain at this point. I'm trying to make affiliate. Right. I, I, <laughs> listen, I'm just, just trying to get the views. Yeah, <laughs> FBI, open up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right. Oh, Matt, it's good to have you here. Oh, also, I want uh, I, I want to give a... <laughs> what? Don't laugh at me. No, I want to give a big shout-out to Michaela for the follow. Thanks so much. Uh, bringing our follower goal up one more. Um, we Ooh. are... Yeah. Woo. We are over halfway there now. Do you think we'll make it by Christmas? I'm hoping. You know what? Yeah, I can hope to. It's Christmas. <laughs> Listen, the look on your face said it all. <laughs> you Listen, man, it's been a crazy year. No. I knew what you meant. Uh, but no, we're back for another episode of that 20 something show. This episode is called If I Owned a Bar. Yes, on a very special Monday episode, which, by the way, I'd like to plug in that we're going to be doing a back to back this week. So tomorrow we'll be tuning in once more. Woohoo! Ooh. Yeah. We're up in the ante here. We're we're going all in. Working overtime. Let's. Uh, we just really miss each other. That's all. It is. <laughs> really, that's what it is for real. Um, but yeah, so uh, we all have uh, our drinks for this lovely episode. Um, mm -hmm. So if you're if you're out there at home and if you're of age, feel free to drink with us. We're we're having a good time because that's what I would do if I owned a bar. I would have a good time. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, why else would you have a bar? Exactly. You can have things go your way. <laughs> right? I know I know Pablo and I have actually talked about if we owned a bar at length. I know You know the funny thing is it always happens when we're in a bar. <laughs> right? Right? Exactly. We're sitting in a bar going, you know, if I Bye, owned this the play. bar. That's the natural thing. You know, you, you get drunk and then you're like, you know, why don't we get a bar? Let's yeah, start we, a band. You know, exactly. Start flying. Yeah. I have work in the morning or else I'd already be three white claws in. Yeah, for real. That's fair, I mean, man. I, I've already got a drink and a shot in me, so we're uh, we're going crazy for this stream. Designated moderator, I get it. D the designated moderator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we appreciate it. I do have to work tomorrow. Wait, do you have to work I, I, That's why I have to leave early. Oh, <laughs> what a sad, sad story. Ugh, that's okay. I don't have we to We won't work. tell them. Yeah, we won't, yeah, we won't tell it's them. It's my last week of work. They don't need... What are they going to do? Fire yeah, you? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to do? <laughs> oh, God. For anybody who tunes in and listens to that from my place of employment, they'll get that because I'm, I'm quitting next month, and I told my boss that I was quitting next month, and so... So now anytime I do something that's like, I don't know if I should be doing this or not. I'm like, ah, what are they going to do? Fire me? <laughs> you know, it's a good time. It's Fuck a, it, I'm on my way out. I, I have a fun time where I work. It's great. Uh, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> big, big oof. Hey, man. It just, you know, it is what it is. But uh, yeah. So Pablo, I know uh, just right off the bat, I know the name of your bar. So let's talk about it. Oh, okay. What is it? Because I don't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, at least as far as I know, your bar was going to be called Puzzles. Oh, my God. Oh, is that that's a How I Met Your Mother reference. Yes, it? it is. <laughs> yes, it is. It absolutely is. And I, I loved that idea. And I definitely think that if, if we owned a bar together, you know it would have to be called Puzzles. <laughs> Just to pay homage to How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> Just to say we did it. Puppet's Palace? Oh, that sounds terrifying. Can you imagine it a like bartender a... that's a Muppet? Dude, if, if all the bartenders were Muppets, <laughs> I'd be down for that. 
fart <laughs> like animal. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would definitely pay to to have some drinks there. If Swedish Chef doesn't make an appearance somehow, oh, I'm yeah. I'm pissed. <laughs> that guy. Oh, for real. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, I want Beaker making all my drinks. <laughs> Oh, could you imagine? Oh, th- yes. You know what? A puppet-themed bar would actually be really funny now that I think about it. Like a Muppet bar? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I, I would go. I would visit. I would love a if drunk I, Elmo. If I had the budget to pull drinks. it off, I'll do it. <laughs> All right. He said a drunk Elmo to serve him his drinks. That's great. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I, I just imagine, like... An out of work Elmo. He's got his <laughs> his his ratty brown leather jacket sitting at the, at the end of the bar, just like looking Super down, depressed, <laughs> like leaning against like some other guy, going, "I love you, man. I love you." <laughs> <laughs> you do a way way better Elmo than I thought you would. <laughs> I I didn't know how it was gonna come out too. <laughs> yeah, like I, cause the funny thing is, I was gonna do the voice, and then I'm like, no, cause it'll sound too much like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I, and I can't do Elmo. Like, Elmo is not one of mine. So I was just like, that's going to turn out bad. And then you did it, and I'm like, hey. I used to do it before my voice dropped. Well, dropped. So. Yeah. It's basically Avenue Q in real life. For real. <laughs> yes. For real, Matt. It is. <laughs> just, you know, after hours. What was that movie that they just made with. Uh... Oh, um, was it ha- Happy Time Murders? Uh, something like Melissa that. Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. Yeah, with Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. I like that. That was actually that was directed by Jim Henson's son, that, which is awesome. I've heard a lot of. Who also directed the Christmas that. Carol? Really? So, I, if you love the Muppets Christmas Carol, then that's so fun. Then, I guess you'll love. Happy if you Time love Murders. the Muppets Christmas Carol and are now an adult, you will love <laughs> Happy Time Murders. Nothing to do with each other, but you'll love it. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, yes. Um, So thank you, Matt, for popping in chat right off the bat and throwing in that quote there because it really made me smile. We are not going to talk about Hitler on this stream. Not today. Not today. We'll save that for another stream. (laughs) But but yeah, Matt, uh, if you owned a bar, have you ever thought about it? Like, if what would what would you do if you owned a bar? That's that's kind of if the uh, keys of the kingdom were given to you. Yeah, right. Exactly. I know, I, you know, I've thought about different, like, specials and stuff, but, uh, like, the name was the biggest thing for me. I, I would definitely want Puzzles to be the bar. Puzzles, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know why? You know, my theme always Special changes puzzle. with every fantasy I have. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you say, Pablo? I'm sorry. I said, you know, every time I fantasize about uh, having my own bar, the theme always changes for me. Yeah, right? So... I love the bar in Dubuque that's name escapes me. The arcade bar. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, um. I should know that. I go to it all the time. Right? I know. I'm sitting here like, <laughs> I can't even remember the name. I was talking about it last week. Oh, that's going to bother me. Yeah, I'll look it up in a bit. No. But anyway. Back pocket. Back pocket. Back pocket. That's the one. So I Thank love you. back pocket. <laughs> And I definitely think if I were to own a bar, it would have a bunch of video games and stuff in it. And wait a second. Back Pocket is the one that's like a brewery. Yes. But what's the one that's more uh, more or less downtown? Thanks, Mikhail. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, uh, there Coming is a clutch. little bit of stream delay. So, <laughs> so their okay. comments come in well after we already say it. But yeah. Yeah. Um, What's the other one that's downtown that I swear looks like you're going into a house and then it has weird arcade games and board games and like oh they, oh, oh oh they have uh, like, like sewer the swamp drinks. water the swamp water what? yeah that's the one was that it swamp um, water. but yeah it was dude it's it's so good like they they make so many things it's and so uh, good and that bar is awesome too after after one you're you're good you're good to go oh oh yeah for real like <laughs> yeah. They, they throw everything but the kitchen sink in there. They, and they warn you, too. They're like, this is your drink for the night. <laughs> Not only that, there's a there's a, there's a another one called the Dirty Swamp Water. Which is even wow. better. Like, <laughs> worse than Swamp Water. Yeah, like... Dirty swamp water. 
It's pretty I'll, crazy. I'm gonna I'm gonna text Ben later and ask him. Like he's he's the one who's always taking dirty that, swamp water. It does water. look like dirty swamp water, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh boy. But uh yeah, no, I I would love just a a very eclectic bar. Like I'd love to have it jam packed with all kinds of weird nostalgic stuff. Like Ooh, and very retro. You, you know, like yeah, super retro. Matt. Matt says my bar would definitely have cheap drinks. I'm I'm not about paying eight bucks for a vodka lemonade. Yeah, for real. We're not talking about a club. Right. We're not talking about a New no, York no, no, City no. club here. We're of course they're the We know why you're like here. $15. Yeah, yeah. That was, I'm like that's half the price of a drink there. But uh yeah, no, for real. Yeah, cheap drinks would be awesome. Like uh, like swamp water was like four bucks or five bucks, right? It was like something yeah. ridiculously cheap and I'm like I'm I'm cool with that. I can <laughs> I'll take it. I can deal. Hasn't killed me yet. <laughs> yeah. And I would definitely have to have like So again, the bar that's name escapes me that has all the weird the weird rooms and stuff. Uh it has a bunch of different it has a bunch of different spaces because it's like a house. They turned the the yeah. house into a bar. And so, like... It's downtown? Yeah, it's downtown. And it has, uh, like, it, it basically where the living room used to be is now where the pool table is yeah. and a fish tank. And then, like, where the kitchen used to be is the bar area. And then where yeah. a bedroom is, they have, like, a little retro... Uh, <laughs> um, what is it? It's not Atari, but it's the... It's the Nintendo. Pac-Man um, games and stuff. Yeah, it's like... Okay. They, gotcha. Yeah, so it's, like, all of those... And they have all of those in a claw machine. And it's just, like, they have all kinds of weird stuff all over the place. Mine would definitely have to have a room that was completely devoted to, like, music and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And somewhere in the bar would have to be a stage for, for live music and stuff. Because, you know. It'd be, like, the main bar area, right? Where yeah. they're serving drinks and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Would you want, like, a really big stage or, like, you know, kind of one of those, like, kind of corner stages? Like a corner stage, okay. yeah, for sure. Like something, an open mic Something kind of that you could probably fit a couple people up there, but, like, typically it's, like, one guy playing guitar okay. or piano and voice, like, that kind of thing. Not, like, a full band or anything. That's a modest bar. Yeah. Okay. Like, I would yeah. super love that. <laughs> I, would, I also would like some, to have live music at mine. Though I, I would like to add as well that, in I I don't know I just I, I just like I just like how uh, in in certain old uh, classic movies they have like the lounge singer so you know it'd be kind of cool to have like you know your one main headline singer working at that bar or that venue that like, would be, be kind of cool. cool that would be cool like everybody knows that person like all the regulars draws them in yeah draws the yeah people in. right yeah. it's great. So Matt, Matt remembers, so Matt went to school in Chicago, so he's used to paying a lot, but he remembers my karaoke bar. Yes. Karaoke bars are interesting. The later the night goes, the better everybody sounds. <laughs> exactly. I always, I always kill it at karaoke bars, to be honest, because I, I, do. I, I, <laughs> I show up, I show up and I just sit there for a while. And I just watch. And, you know, I just watch and I listen and I'm like, this is awesome. And then I go up and I sing um, Feeling Good by Michael Buble and then I leave. Like, that's it. I'm feeling good. I, like, I just go in, I, I kill the night for everyone else and I leave. It's fun. I, I don't know. I have a good time. <laughs> But not your competition style karaoke. Drunk people who are just trying to have fun. Yeah, ex exactly. Right. You know, you gotta love it. I uh, I actually just came across. It's it's weird seeing all my memories and stuff when everything's locked down. But I just came across a, a video of me in uh, oh what was it Skinnies downtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the one. Skinnies and like all the lambdas are sister fraternity, sister sorority. That's there the one. There you go. Woo. Uh, you know, the girl one. Um, but our, our sister sorority, like, half of them were all up on stage singing I Feel Like a Woman. And I'm like, that's hilarious. So I took a video of it. But yeah, I miss seeing these memories and stuff. It's fun. Anyway. You know, being the guy that owns it, I'd like to every now and then just 
walk in, dressed to the nines, got a pinstripe suit, got a briefcase. And everybody's like, oh my God, there goes the owner. There goes the owner. And I go inside in the back room, you know, there are these, you know, Swifty looking guys playing poker going like, hey, no, you're stealing the chips, man. Hey, I'm not stealing the chips. And I go, guys, 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 I brought the chips. And I pull out some Lay's or whatever. <laughs> some Lay's. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, on the border, tortilla chips. Yes. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, yeah, so definitely I remember, Matt, um, I remember going to Fat Tuesdays. Man, I really went to bars in Dubuque. That's really all I did. I just realized that, like, I know all the bars in Dubuque. What else was there to do? <laughs> I don't know. Seriously. It's yeah. Dubuque. It was kind of crazy. But I remember <laughs> going to Fat Tuesdays, and we would just put money on the jukebox. Oh, yeah. And just play songs the <laughs> Back whole to back. It was so fun. Uh, what a great time. There's a casino. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. true. There's two, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know. I can't do that. I can't go put a bunch of money in the jukebox. No, I... You guys know me. Mm-hmm. I'm, the, I'm the rocker. I'm the metalhead. I'll, I'll clear the bar out with my music. I'll get competitive real quick, even if I don't know how to do it. <laughs> right. Hey, but it's fun when, you, when you've got, like, a big group of people in there, and then you start playing your music, because then everybody, like, gets into it. And it's, like, it's a blast. It's yeah. a good time. Mine's all 90s, 2000s <laughs> pop punk. Hey, man, that's, like, the best style of music. We could buy. Oh, you know what's we cool? Uh, I was, uh, where was this? It was at the, the lift. In Another Dubuque. bar in Dubuque. And, yeah, <laughs> the busted lift. And they have this board where you you can buy someone you know someone else a drink and you know it's it's basically just free for them when they come when they come back in or say say like I I, I pay for a drink for you you come in I don't know next week or whatever and they're like hey someone bought you a drink and and uh, you know they they prep you the I don't know the martini I I already ordered you what a cool idea so I would love to do that in my bar. That would be awesome. Like, you've got a list of regulars' names, and, like, yeah. anybody can just say, yeah, I want to buy that person a drink. Like, that would be really awesome. What a weird way to pay it forward. Like, Yeah, I know. I love that. You know? Super fun. I agree about that. Yeah, for sure. Or just even, like, hey, the next person that comes in type of deal. Yeah, right? That, that would be kind of fun. I mean, that you can do on your own, but, like, with the list of regulars... I, I definitely want to have... Like, if if I were to have a bar, it wouldn't be one of those. It wouldn't be like a college bar, you know. I would. I oh would no. Want to have? No, no. Uh, they'll, they'll fuck it up for everyone. I just yeah, know. right. Exactly. <laughs> drug, Listen, drug I hate myself. <laughs> okay, so like, like if I were to have a bar, it would definitely be one of those that has like regulars and you know. Yeah. The typical Cheers lifestyle. <laughs> exactly like Cheers. Yeah. Oh yeah. It'd be super fun. What about you? Me? Yeah. What about you? Oh, I'm, again, I'm very different from the two of you. Have you guys ever? Go seen, ahead. That's that's why we do this. <laughs> have you guys ever seen the the movie Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze? Uh, I, not not all the way through. I'm gonna be so, honest with so you. So <laughs> eventually, so basically, it's about Patrick Swayze is like this uh, karate bouncer that comes in to straighten out this biker bar that's just totally every day it's fights and people getting hurt and the owner's like tired of it so he brings in this professional who gets everybody in line yeah I'd want a rough and tumble bar like that but Ooh. more you know straight like edge you know dive I mean? kind of thing like a it'd be great to have like a, a little tattoo parlor in the Ooh. back where Ooh. people could yeah. Go. Get tattoos. Oh my god, drunk it. people getting tattoos. <laughs> hey, they do it at the Full Throttle Saloon. No, dude, that's perfect. I mean... <laughs> if you get, like, the logo of my bar tattooed on you, we'll do it for free. That's okay, I'm down. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I'm down. Like, I do like that. That's cool. It's like you're... you're it's free advertising anyway. Yeah, right? yeah. So why not, right? And then I definitely want, like, a bigger stage. So I, I want it, like, off the ground a bit and enough that you can mm-hmm. put, like, a whole band on and have, like, amps okay. and stuff. Yeah. Now, that'd be and cool. It'd be cool to have, like, that one regular that always plays every week. But I, I would more like to have, like, you know, like, underground bands circling through. You know what I mean? Maybe yeah. not, like, every single day, but, like, a couple a week at least would be really cool. Um, and then, yeah, pretty much like you guys said, I'd, I'd love to have an arcade on the opposite side. Kind of like, 
not like walled off or anything, but like where it's not going to affect if a band's playing and stuff like that. Yeah. Right. And I'd want the bar to be like right in the center of like the whole building. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I could definitely see that. Like, sort of like you, you would have to get through the rooms to get to the bar kind of deal. Yeah, well, yeah. you go through, like, the entrance, and then you could go off to the left, the arcade. Oh, yeah, Or, like, yeah. the stages at the very back. You know, you could have I the tattoos you. parlor off to the right when you enter. Yeah. Stuff like that. And, you know, yeah. you don't have to be drunk, like, to get the tattoo. You know? no, you oh, no, 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 no. A chill tattoo parlor. Yeah, right? You could just go in and just get a tattoo yeah, without even want. buying a drink. Right, right. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, that's super cool. It would support a bunch of different things, too. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, support local bands or underground bands, support tattoo artists. Like, I'd like, love to have, like, uh, do events, do, like, biker rallies, stuff like that. Different, different kind of things. So, wait. In the basement of a store in Wrigley. Whoa. That is awesome. That is super <laughs> cool. So no for those way. of you on YouTube, <laughs> that's crazy, Matt. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What a what a weird time. This is this is what we get for going to school in Dubuque. Yeah, right. Come uh, on, man. No, that's so. For the, those of you watching on YouTube, our friend Matt says in 2016 he went to a uh, was a literal underground bar in a basement of a store in Wrigleyville mm-hmm. to watch the Cubs in a World Series, and it got shut down the next day for being illegal. Yeah, you know, casual. That's you know, so like, funny. Yeah, I assume that, that's that's how stories are. You know, that's how stories are made. I, I assumed it was Wrigleyville and not just directly in the center of Wrigley Field, though. But thank you, <laughs> thank you been for awesome. the clarification. Honestly, Matt. you had me going. I thought it was like <laughs> underneath the store, right next to Wrigley Field. Like that would have been pretty crazy. Yeah, that's True. what I thought at first. Yeah, I I think another huge thing for me, <laughs> I paid fifty dollars to get into the bar. Oh, but you got five drinks. Okay, that's not too bad. Still pricey drinks. Still pricey, but but not too bad. Like, you know, a lot of bars have, like, outrageous cover charges, and then you have to buy... There's, like, a one drink or a two drink minimum on top of that. A lot of them are, like, downtown bars. Yeah. Like, more higher. Yeah. Yeah. (sighs) Oh, uh, uh, so... uh, So I just heard back from... Uh, ben and Oddfellows. That's where. That's the bar you were thinking. Thank about. you yeah. so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's Oddfellows. So yeah, um, if you're if you're ever back and we have time, I've we heard of it. Oddfellows. I've just never been there before. It's a great place, man. Yeah, it's great. It's fantastic. For Chicago, that was the best you were gonna get. Yeah, yeah. Fifty dollars, five drinks. Yeah. yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah, I mean, I'm not used to going to bars that like charge that much to be honest it's like when the lift had a five dollar cover charge i was like ah do i really want to go and <laughs> so, like, like that's my that's my level of you know some people places are pretty bad in galena they have one like exclusive, i was drinking on my like, couch wine club that like first of all you have to know somebody to get into yeah. uh, my girlfriend michaela actually wow. got us in because she like served the owner when she was serving at olive garden and when we got in, we found out, like, it was, like, $15 for a glass of wine, and their Bloody Marys, which they were known for, were $30 a piece. Oh, my God. No big deal. Yeah. So we <laughs> met the owner, said hi. She gave us both one free drink, and we left. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it was pretty What cool. was in those Bloody Marys? <laughs> Mary. Mary was. Mary herself. Oh, wait. Was, like, the original Mary was in there. Like, vodka and like really nice like mix and then she put like other stuff in that was like whatever regular stuff but i, I mean, think it was just because of the vodka and it was it was, it was good but it wasn't no 30 dollar bloody mary <laughs> I'll tell you that much but i appreciate it i got it for free yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you <laughs> like you, like pablo said earlier i can sit on the couch and get drunk for a lot right, cheaper right. Than there's there's absolutely no need to spend thirty dollars <laughs> and i'll watch what i want yes <laughs> right exactly throw on netflix we've got entertainment it's great you don't have to deal with the crowds and the traffic uh, oh my god there should be a broadway night at the bar <laughs> oh my goodness yes in wisconsin they put 
like sliders and bacon in Bloody Marys? Who? Wisconsin yeah. people are weird, man. In Vegas, you can get like God a whole salad them. on top of a Bloody Mary in some place. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I mean, like, I get the celery stick and maybe, like, carrots and, and other crap, like, because mm. it's just V8 and vodka, so it's vegetable juice. Yeah, like, kind of, yeah. You know, in, in all reality, that's what it is. Yeah, Pablo, what are you drinking? Tell Matt. Oh. The man wants uh, to I made myself, well, not, I was going to make myself a Vesper, but I didn't have all the right, uh, all the ingredients, so I kind of made with what I had. I still had some gin uh some vodka i had a like a lime sweetener and that's <laughs> that's kind of where i hey it works it. hey it's it's getting me buzzed it's doing it's doing its job so you're just making your you just made your own concoction basically yeah send yeah. me the recipe all right <laughs> i will <laughs> yeah um oh i was gonna say uh so if i had a bar there has to be what is a what's a vesper I'm it's uncultured. it's a mar, it's a martini uh it's think it's what james bond orders actually sometimes shaken not stirred <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. um if if i had a bar i definitely would have to have like weird competitions so <laughs> Like you lock the door and say, "All right, <laughs> no, no one's getting out of here," <laughs> or just one of you is. No, no. Like so, I I don't know if this is a thing at every bar, but I know Fats did it on uh, what was it on Old Style or something like that. It was Old Style or on Pabst or whatever they served. They had this competition where there was like a, a playing card written on the on the uh the cap of the beer the bottle cap okay and it was so it was on the underside and if you guessed what the you have a one in 52 chance but if you guessed what the card was then the beer was free (laughs) and so like i'd have weird things like that like you know if you like i'd have a dartboard and i'm like if you can if you can hit the the red three then this drink is free. You gotta be careful. Some people are really, <laughs> really good, good at darts. darts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Way, yeah, but like just weird stuff. Like I'd love to have like weird one-off competitions every once in a while. Like I think that'd be super yeah. fun. I like bars with bingo, and when they call O sixty nine, everybody gets a free shot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love bars. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh um, my god, do you remember uh, Travingo? Yes. Travingo. There was, Are you familiar with Travingo? Mm-hmm. It's great. It's a great game. There there was this bar uh kind of like on the way to Galena from from Dubuque. It was Taste. Uh, and yeah, Taste. That's what it was called. It was a bar called Taste. Yes. Yeah, it's off the road. <laughs> yeah. Uh and what was it? Like every other Sunday they had this thing called Travingo in which it's it's a combination of trivia and bingo. Um and uh, I don't know. I think I think it was just just the fun of um, him asking. So you got you got to identify the song, or you know they'll show you like obscure cartoon characters or or uh, superheroes, and you know you're you're just given names on on these certain um, uh, on these cards, these bingo cards, and uh, I don't know. It was just it was just so fun having to you know kind of work as you were drinking. <laughs> Yeah, and it was great, too, because... So, they would have, like, the main bingo cards, um, and that was Trevingo. They'd be themed. But then, also, on top of that, they had another competition going on that was just regular bingo, and you got a bingo card every time you ordered a drink. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, the more drinks you got, the more chances you had to win... But also, the, but you also got drunker. The more you were paying the bar, <laughs> and yeah, exactly. And so it was like it was great for business for them. They brought in a killer crowd on a Sunday of all days, like Sunday midday. Like I know, it's people show it up so much go. fun. Yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, it was a it was a super fun time. I went a couple of different times, and it was great. It was a blast. I know in my hometown, um, of Muhammad, Illinois. There's a bar called Millie's, which is like one of the 
three like really big bars all the regulars go to like tons of random people will spill into it it's always a good time but they have like one pool table and the owner is pretty much there every single night and he's never serving he's never helping out he's just hanging out having a good time yeah. maybe he's playing music but he's always there playing pool and <laughs> most of the time if you beat him he will give you a free drink and like that's every time you beat him but the thing is, he's there pretty much every night playing pool. So, so he's just, it's damn he's near He's that impossible. much better. <laughs> like, he will embarrass you while he beats you. He'll just do ridiculous shots to kind of make it a challenge on himself. <laughs> just to kind of give you a shot so it's kind of fun for him. And he'll still just <laughs> whoop your ass. It is. I love that. He always tries to draw me into play. I'm like, come on, Ted. No. There's no way. He's like, no, no, I'll do off the wall shots the whole game. I'm like, yeah, and I'll still feel embarrassed at you. And I'll still <laughs> I'll pay for terrible. the drinks. Thank you. <laughs> the, exactly. The yes. three dollars is not worth my embarrassment. Thank you very much. <laughs> I am content. <laughs> but that's a blast. I love that. And he's like this really old, like upper 50s really tiny little guy too super friendly which makes it even more embarrassing because you know you think like the the pool jockey is this big tattooed guy in a leather coat no no it's this little dude wearing a sweater just trying to bait you <laughs> it's in mr rogers is what <laughs> oh my right. god <laughs> just mr rogers just chilling there when We're things are getting serious like un he's unbuttoning is. the cardigan <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> And now I'm gonna teach you a lesson. <laughs> I I can imagine, you know, I can imagine Brandon being the bar owner. You know, you're well into your, I don't know, sixties, and you know, like the <laughs> the patrons keep coming in and say, "Yo, they they say if you beat him at push-ups, he he'll he'll buy you a round of drinks." No way. But the thing is, like, I don't know, like I. I just see you beating him the whole time. You do like five hundred push-ups a night, so like, there's no way. I, it's so like your body is 60, but those arms somehow are just like, you know, in their 30s and just, <laughs> <laughs> just pump. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. For the viewers, I'm, I'm be shipping out for the military at the end of next month. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm working on the pushups every single day, 300 pushups a day. Um, got to get ready. Got to make those gains. And then once I got them, I got to keep a hold on to them. Keep them <laughs> in them 60s. Yeah. Just keep that tone going. Anyway. <laughs> I, I, uh, so as much as I like the idea of owning like a super realistic bar, hold on just a second. I don't think I've done 300 push ups in my <laughs> life, <laughs> says Matt. Oh, I also I don't, don't know. think I've done 300 I've lost, in I've lost many things under the couch, so I think cumulatively, eventually, <laughs> you add it up. That to doesn't count. If your knees touch the ground, it doesn't count. That's, man. A, that's a girl push up. That's a girl Fine, push up. Fine, I did 30, 300 girl push ups. <laughs> How many did you do, Jake? <laughs> I've done six. Um, not 600, just six. <laughs> but uh, no. So as much as I love the idea of owning like a legitimate real bar and all of these cool things, I also think it would be interesting. I don't know about the logistics of it, but I think it would be interesting to own like a, a real quirky bar. So you know how there's the the full like restaurant that's stardust or whatever where oh, all uh, of the all of the waiters are broadway yeah like hopefuls and stuff like that like i think it would be super fun to do like a really weird themed bar mm -hmm. too so like like a broadway bar or like my muppet bar <laughs> yeah or like your muppet bar exactly uh, you know as much as that was a joke at the beginning of the stream i i definitely think it would be interesting Dude, the more i thought about it the more i want it <laughs> man the more <laughs> no it's great but uh yeah like a weird themed bar would be super fun i would just love that little quirk that like uh what's that what's that movie it's like is it like coyote ugly about the bar um and it's like all the girls run the bar and if you ask for water you, you get shot in the face. You've never seen that one? No, I have never yeah, so seen it's that like, one. Oh, it's a bar. It's like a super fun time bar run, uh, run by a bunch of girls. Um, and they make hella money doing it. And like the big quirk of it is if like you ask for water, you automatically get shot in the face by like the water sprayer because they do not serve water in that bar. That's great. That's <laughs> hilarious. 
I, uh, <laughs> that is true, Matt. You did give Pablo the Puppet's Palace idea. So That's right, Matt. You'll get free drinks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go, Matt. Now it has to happen. <laughs> Matt gets free drinks, man. <laughs> um, I think it would be interesting to have a, uh, uh, like a classic uh, like Twilight Zone themed bar. And and by this I mean like you open the, the drinks keep coming but I'm not getting drunk. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Everything's a placebo. No, uh, <laughs> but you're still charged eight dollars a drink. No, <laughs> no, uh, but where it turns out it's rehab. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that would be a Twilight Zone. <laughs> no, but I'd love the it. minute for your approval. <laughs> I, I'd love it if you immediately opened the door and everything looked exactly. Like it was straight out of the 1950s. Like, okay. I mean, that'd be awesome. Like, your uniform for working there yeah. was like tailored clothes from the 1950s. Um, no, not Edward Cullen, not, not Matt. Twilight. Twilight, Twilight Zone. Zone. <laughs> Get <laughs> out of here, man. Matt. Matthew. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I think it would be I think it would be really cool if you just walked into a 50s style bar and like it was like you were transported back to the 50s. I think that would be so awesome. Or like a speakeasy themed bar. Ooh. That would be, I would love a speakeasy. Cool. Oh my god, can you Okay, that's Constant it. That's I'm going to do I'm going to do a Muppet speakeasy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, Let's just combine all the ideas. They're, they're gonna open up that little, uh, what's that little sliding window in the in the door? So you can see the eyes. <laughs> it's gonna be the Swedish chef going, first one. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> then he says password, and the guy says <clears throat> felt, and he gets let in. <laughs> <laughs> Jim sent me. <laughs> <laughs> Jim sent me. <laughs> There's a bar in Chicago and Milwaukee called Safe House, and it's spy themed. That would be what? awesome. Spy? How is it spy themed? What exactly does that mean, though? Uh, well, you have to uh, you have to do a laser light maze in order to get into the bar, <laughs> and then in order to get out, it's the same thing but wow. drunk. Nobody would get out. <laughs> That's the catch, though, right? Yeah, you right. Get in, you never get out. Every time you lose, you have to buy another drink. Matt knows a lot about bars, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Matt, Chicago's got all the good ones. So you do need to know a password to get in, or they, they make you do funny tasks to get in. Oh, that's great. I love that. That's fun. That's awesome. I See, I think stuff like that is so cool. I, I don't know. It's just fun. Yeah, for sure. But that's the beauty of it. You know, you get to have fun with, with how you run that place, and that's the drawing. Like, I... Yeah, let's I make a, great. let's make, when you said a spy theme, when you said safe house, immediately I thought it was like an escape room escape theme. Escape room? <laughs> yeah. With drunk people? They'll never leave. I know, I was sitting here like, how would that work? <laughs> and it's decorated with spy espionage stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I guess. But like real spy espionage stuff or like the movie spy espionage stuff? Because <laughs> there is a big difference. You know what I mean? Like, you know, spies from, like, the Cold War and stuff. I gotta say, if the entrance is not like the one in, in Get Smart, then I don't want any part of it. <laughs> Where you just have to run past all the doors or whatever. If there's spy no kids. phone booth at the end of that hall. <laughs> so, yeah, spy kids. Uh, <laughs> and we've made it. We've got there. We're, we have made You're it to spy, spy kids. kids. Yeah, I was actually mentioning to, to Brandon before the stream that we would probably end up talking about Spy Kids. Yeah. <laughs> Bingo! It, felt like, it, it we, felt like a good warning. We do need a, we, we need a that 20-somethings uh, a bingo card. Every every time I... Well, Spy Kids would just be the free space, to be honest. Let's, <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest. At this point... And just for the record, we came to the conclusion that the second Spy Kids movie is, in fact, the best one. Yeah, that's that's what we decided anyway. Uh, I don't know if that's your opinion, right. Matt, but uh, that's definitely... I'm no Roger Ebert, but... <laughs> Confirmed. There we go. Confirmed, yes. <laughs> as absolutely. Uh, you know, it has to be. 
I, but I don't know. Sylvester Stallone plays multiple people in the third one, and that that just <laughs> not, that makes me okay. very happy. Not only that, he plays several people that I never imagined him playing. Yeah, true. I think that's the weirdest role I've ever seen him play. But oh, one hundred percent. I still loved it. You have to. You have to. But Steve Buscemi in the second one is, I mean, come on. Classic. Just, just unsurpassed talent right there. That's so good. I just I'm glad you got a cameo like in the third one. That were in it, like the slizzard. Do you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? <laughs> Steve Buscemi. Can you actually... This man, this man can quote the movie. Matt, can you please add that as a quote into our stream quote bank? <laughs> oh my and, God. And we'll credit Steve Buscemi on it. No, no worries. But we'll just add it as a quote. It'll be fun. <laughs> but, uh, yeah... <laughs> what are the coolest bars you guys have been to? You guys meaning the viewers, or you guys meaning me and Pablo? Both. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, let us know in the comments on YouTube if you're watching it there. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, um, Pablo, are you still there? Are you dying? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm thinking. Oh, you're good. <laughs> that I can. I really had to think about that question. one. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, I traveled abroad uh, for a school <sighs> trip one time. Uh, we went to Germany and Austria, and on our last night, we were in, uh, we were in Austria, we were in Salzburg, um, and of course, you know, a group of us were like, alright, it's the last night, let's, let's just, let's just go get plastered and, you know, be just hung over for this ride home, and, uh, we ended up wandering into this, this large, like, cabin building, but it looked like a three-story one. Well, when we went in, um, like the whole thing was empty, and, and they, they checked our IDs at the door, and they're like, "All right, go in," and they just pointed us off to the right, and we we're like, "Okay, well, that's not going in the building at all." Uh, so we went off to the right, and then it immediately turned left. Well, as soon as you go in through this door, the bar is right in front of you, but then it goes into the left, which goes into the side of this mountain, and it's a giant cave. And they had uh, Austrian uh, rappers on stage Just rapping. Cave bar. <laughs> Red Bull everywhere, all over the floors. They did not have no monsters. Everybody was drinking Red Bull and vodka. And yeah, we were, we were watching uh, Austrian rappers the rest of the night, just kind of hanging out. What? Doing what they said. <laughs> Having a great time. I have a bunch of videos of it. it That's awesome. so fun. Yeah, it was just the most random, cool, ex you know, just happened upon experience ever. What? So, um, I had the experience of going to an Irish pub with Alan Garfield. Okay. And, <laughs> and so... I'm so jealous of that. <laughs> you know, it, it was good. For those of you who don't know, Alan Garfield is one of the professors at the University of Dubuque, where... All three of us went to school, and uh, he is an art history professor, among other things. I think he does graphic design and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, actor in his free time. Yeah, he's an actor That's in his true. free time. He's a notorious Jew. Um, and <laughs> and uh, he's... By the way, it's, it's, the, it's the fifth, sixth day of Hanukkah today? Oh, it's... Okay. It's happy, happy Chanaka, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> or Chanaka, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway. I'm sorry to cut you off, go ahead. No, you're good. So anyway, he absolutely loves Ireland, and specifically Irish pubs. You know, because who wouldn't? But, uh, so we, he also does a lot of overseas trips for the university. He organizes all of the study abroad programs and stuff like that or at least a lot of them not yeah, all. yeah that's of them. how i went but oh yeah yeah you went with alan yeah Garfield? and greg yeah oh, that's awesome and so basically uh he planned a trip to italy and so i went on that trip and this was back in january uh my group from the university of dubuque is single-handedly responsible for bringing the coronavirus from italy <laughs> to the united states of america but regardless um <laughs> so it's your fault <laughs> i'm sorry i didn't mean it no but uh so anyway we went to italy and it was absolutely phenomenal but on alan garfield's birthday which is like two days before my birthday so that's awesome which is a national holiday there <laughs> yeah right on alan garfield's birthday we went to an irish pub um in italy of all places they're everywhere and, though yeah right of course 
But in <laughs> Italy, we went to an Irish pub, and the guy who was there, um, the bartender and the only person there, he was also the owner of the bar there, he actually started the Irish pub in Italy because he settled down and had a family in Italy. But he's from Ireland, and his previous and only prior job was working at an Italian restaurant in Ireland. And I was Shut mind up. blown. I was like, this is hilarious. You can't, you can't write this stuff. And so, so I got to talking to him, which was great. Because in the middle of Italy, he has an Irish accent. And I'm like, this is fun. Like, we're having a good time. And then I sat around and had ale and, you know, just drank with Alan Garfield, celebrated his birthday. We played some darts. And then they had a piano in the back of the pub, too, like most Irish pubs oh, do. Boy. And so I sat down at the piano. Oh, of course. And I started playing, like, Irish tunes and stuff. <laughs> and, like, so not only did Alan Garfield get involved because he knows all these Irish tunes, but the bartender got involved and the other people in the bar started singing. So it was like the classic That's movie awesome. scene. It was so fun, that is man. Such a novelty experience. Oh. So you're, you're lucky to have that. It's awesome. Yeah, it was great. It, it was a great <laughs> time. So that was probably my favorite bar experience, even though the bar itself wasn't really anything special. Right. It was the experience. It was just such a novelty experience, yeah. For yeah. sure. That was great. What about you, sir? Senator, mayor, uh, sir? Yeah, I would have to say, kind of like you with me, it's more like the experience. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I'm, I'm tied between two, but they both happen in Canada, also abroad. Um, there are no there, good bars in the this, United States. Not America. a single one, man. <laughs> America is gone. I, I, no. I went to this Irish pub called the Irish Heather, and... Um, I just, I, first of all, I just like the aesthetic. It was very, um, I don't know. It was like, it was like sleek. It was sleek and rustic at the same time, but it was, it was, it was very nice. Um, they had these crown floats that I was introduced to while I was there that I just kept drinking, which you know, it's Guinness based. So, I, you know, I'm happy whenever there's Guinness. Uh, and then we went to this other place where it's, uh, I, I'm blanking on the name. I'm going to have to look at my pictures again, but uh, was also pretty cool. They had a couple murals on, on, on the wall. It's pretty, you know, open area. Um, but the cool thing about that was that not only was it a popular place, but across the street from there, they had filmed a scene from Deadpool, uh, at, you know, earlier, like a couple years back. That's crazy. So, like, really I don't know. That was kind of cool. It was like, uh, I think it's after the girl, uh, the girlfriend, by the way, spoiler alert, guys, if you haven't seen Deadpool. If you haven't too. seen Deadpool, but you missed out. <laughs> Get on it. Get on come on <laughs> but you know when they when they kill the girlfriend he's chasing the guy and i think he like i think he runs outside of a sex shop that's that's that street like right there that's awesome and yes matt it is of course i am drinking it straight with red bull i am uh 50 straight german so that is the liquor of my heritage of course um so i i do want to bring it back to matt's comment from before from before from before, Bar. We, we've got the Irish pub. Faith there. in Bagara. Oh, Faith in Bagara. <laughs> and now I met her be going before my voice gets any higher. Um, no, but, but anyway, uh, no, uh, Matt's comment from before, his favorite bar in Chicago was a karaoke bar that sold fish bowls. I actually had a question about that. So, Matt, is that like an empty fish bowl? Or is See, there actually like that's goldfish in it? Or uh, do they uh, serve the drink in a fish bowl? Because yeah, I'd be down yeah, for that. Yeah, what, what does that mean exactly? <laughs> I feel like it would be good if it was like a, uh, like a blue, like liquor and stuff like that, and yeah. then it had like little gummy things. Well, could you imagine in it, like, a drink like this big? Swedish fish. Yes, I can. Well, you have a straw. You put a straw. <laughs> This would take you all night for a fishbowl sized drink. Giant bowl, tons of random liquor meant to share. Okay. That makes sense. Well, I'm selfish. I'd buy one meant to for share. myself. For the night. <laughs> all right, I'll take a fishbowl. And uh, what are you guys getting? <laughs> There's, you know, they, they write big gulp on the bowl. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my goodness. For the first like three streams, 
I had a, I had a, I had just gone to Wendy's before the stream, yeah. and I had the giant Wendy's cup, and he kept making fun of me because it was like a big gulp. It was like the, the full, big. large, gigantic soda, and I'm like, yeah, that's me. I'm sorry. You know, I'm I, know they, I didn't know they served gallons. <laughs> I'm a little upset with McDonald's for selling out. Well, I think it was the government yeah. that forced them to. I, wh- why didn't I get the opportunity to supersize, huh? I don't care about that whole... That whole thing. Stupid documentaries. That's, a, that's my choice to get fat if I want to. Yeah. If I want to drink this big, give it to me, okay? Gosh. For real. My body, my choice. My choice. We're going to get canceled so hard. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't care. We, we, we got to go to run. Saying I'm overthrowing the government, so. <laughs> oh, that is true. This has already been monetized. Oh, yeah, guys, well, you know what it is. It's... Oh. The second we mentioned Hitler. <laughs> yeah, as, uh, yeah, we mentioned Hitler, but, you know, it's a show, so it's fine. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, it's, so it's a child portion because it's the size of a child if liquefied. <laughs> That's true. Well, yeah. And now like we're they talking did the about math on liquefying that. children. Yeah, so. well, you know. We've gone, a, we've gone down a very, very dark hole here. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty bright. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I can go deeper. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'll go down the rabbit hole. Mm-hmm. Also sounds like a cool bar name. The rabbit hole. You know, it would be a great bar name if it had, like, a bunch of, like, super... Wait, wait, what's a Parks and Rec reference? Was the, re- was the rabbit hole pa- it's, uh, it's Parks and Rec? It's a child portion because it's the size of a child oh. if it's liquefied. I feel like April says that. Or Aubrey <laughs> Plaza. No, I, I could see her Leslie saying says that. that. Really? Probably. It's the fattest con- uh, county or member in the whole state or whatever. Oh, yeah, that's right. I do I do kind of see that. Matt, help us out. Who said that? Yes. <laughs> yes. We're going to play a little game on the stream today. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> well, he knows the quote. I mean. Yeah, it, I mean, he, he, knows, he knows all. Our moderator is wise beyond his years. Clearly, he knows all about bars. I like to picture him commenting from a mountain, like the top of a mountain. He's got a long beard. On the peak of the mountain sits a laptop, and he just types. (laughs) He's completely bald, but he's got this long-ass beard. But he's only 30. Yeah, it goes to his knees. <laughs> he's been growing it since he was three. <laughs> yes, he started at three. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, Matt, that's, that's the way it be. Um, it's someone from Sweden. Someone Sweden. That's right, that's right. But, uh, yeah. I need to rewatch that show. That was a fun one. Yeah, I've seen it a lot of times. For sure. Oh, we were talking about the rabbit hole. Uh, speaking about going <laughs> yes. down this rabbit hole, rabbit hole could definitely be a strip club name. I mean, yeah. Wow. She's my cherry pie. <laughs> <laughs> That's my stripper song. <laughs> Equality is my stripper name. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> um, the, I feel like the rabbit hole would be a great like bar name for like. A psychedelic kind of bar design, like Ooh. you would get like, some neon lights in there. Yeah, neon lights, like a like a club kind yeah, of yeah. feel. Um, get some glow sticks and hang them with fishing line. <laughs> yeah, right. And it has a it has a bunch of like <laughs> mushrooms painted on the on the walls in bright neon colors. They'd be playing like and Primus and psychedelic yeah, yeah, right, rock, right, there you go. Tool, yeah. Pink Floyd. Sure. You paint some very realistic looking that holes would be, on the floor. I would be a regular at that bar. That would <laughs> I would definitely my bars. I, sure. Yeah. Look yeah. at my tattoo. This is a psychedelic tattoo if I've seen one. All right, look at all these purples. Look at I was going to ask you. Did you have you gotten that, a new one? Look at all that. Have you gotten any new ones lately? Um, I don't know. It depends on what you've seen. I've, I, I've been working on that. Uh, that'll go with my Jim Morrison. Okay. Cannot see it because it's on my forearm. I've seen him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it'll, this will be like a red door, and then I'm going to get this all finished up. That's just a start. And then yeah, I got that in the progress. It's right. hyenas. But that hurt really bad, and I don't want to spend right. money on that right now. And I can't yeah, I anymore seen the door because before. I'm joining the military soon, so I have to wait for six months. But that's about all I got right now as far as new stuff in the works. I still okay. need to fix this junk. You can't really see it on the screen, but it's super faded all over the place. And that's $400 just for 
four hours. A touch up? Yeah. <laughs> just for four hours of pain. <laughs> Hurt me, please. But it looks so good. That's true. It does. Um, yeah. I uh, I have no pain tolerance and little money, so yeah. tattoos are not my thing. <laughs> so that's what's keeping you. Yeah, you know, the whole not liking pain and uh, have being broke is. is I'd like thing. to eventually. In fact, I almost got one in Canada, to be honest. Yeah, I wanted to get one in Germany, but I was uh, I was really concerned about how much money I had. The same same way. Yeah, that I was. Found a shop and everything, um, but I was like, ah, I should. It was like halfway through the trip, and I was like, I still had a week, so I was like, I have no idea how much I'll have. I don't want to be broke for the last three days. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel that. And looking back, I could have afforded it, so. <laughs> Sad. You live and you learn. Hindsight is 2020. 20. Right. Oh, oh, well. That's okay. Yeah, I don't I don't think people look kindly on 2020 now. So I don't. <laughs> Hindsight is perfect vision. <laughs> there you go. I know, but <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you can't just, reference it's... 2020 with with good things anymore. Yeah, it's a right. Shit show. Yeah, that's that's when I become irresponsible and use my credit card. Oh, well. Or your credit <laughs> cred. You can use your credit cred if you want, Matt. I, I use I'm your credit gonna... cred. <laughs> Fucking <A. laughs> <laughs> I hello. I am credit cred. How may I be of service today? <laughs> Give me money. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I just imagined Crad as like a, a an ATM service robot. Like, so it's got it's got to mispronounce everything. So like, how can I be of cervix? <laughs> cervix. I don't like that at all. <laughs> That's great. And we got canceled. And we're canceled. Oh, we just lost all three viewers. Excellent. <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> Woo. No, I'm just kidding. We only have Matt. It's fine. Note to self: Don't mention cervix. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll add that to the words not to say. <laughs> so I got a random question for you, Pablo. How how's the weather down there? Is it is it pretty nice? Oh ha ha! I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> was it meant to be a ha ha? Technically, it's how's the weather up there. Up there. What? Yeah. Oh, it is. It is up he's, there. For he's us. literally above us on our. Oh, screen. I was gonna say I'm literally. south. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. <laughs> no, um, weather is okay. Uh, our winter here is kind of like your your chilly day in fall. That's that's why I figure we just got uh six inches in Dubuque overnight, so that was it's a lot of inches. Yo, but six I inches, I mean that <laughs> I miss Ramon. Six inches. It's his is birthday about today. Average, right? <laughs> it's Ramon's birthday today, guys. It is, is it Ramon's birthday? Happy birthday, Ramon. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday You're not Ramon. watching, but I'll send this video to you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> we mentioned him for twenty seconds, but yeah. Send him the whole video, make him watch I'll all tell two him, hours. Look of it. for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> Don't even tell him why you're sending it, but yeah, that's great. Yes. <laughs> For sure. Actually, what's even funnier is our viewers just spiked, so I think Ramon heard that and has tuned in. <laughs> <laughs> he felt it. He just <laughs> yeah, it. for those of you who just joined, we are here talking about, well, a lot of random things right now, yeah. um, but uh, this episode is called If I Owned a Bar, so for the last uh, hour now, we've been talking about different bar ideas and and, and hardly uh, about spy kids yeah yeah and spy kids uh, or they came for the cervix yeah and drinking see i told you they'd come happy. back <laughs> yeah and and we're drinking so yeah. if you're out there and if, if you're of age uh take a drink but yeah um we've uh, we've come up with lots of ideas for bar names oh my god and, uh, you know what i miss yeah making drinks dedicated or based on the show we were just in i thoroughly enjoyed that and i feel like endgame would have been interesting uh, <laughs> now that's a name for a drink right <laughs> end <Yeah>. game. <laughs> you just you just throw whatever we have in the liquor cabinet and mix it together <laughs> that's, that's a drink you gotta take like all the big names you take your jaeger oh yeah your jack your svedka make your a whole avengers thing going brand, just one death shot and you just put it in that double shot, and that's the end of the night right there. Okay. To add to that, you take you take those ingredients, you know the uh, you know the, those good known, very well known names, make separate drinks, and then mix them together. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, like make some weird jungle juice, like some nightmare fuel jungle juice. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> I could just think like about the fraternity it. 
tag punch. Yeah. You take two cuts well, and you're done. Tag's not bad, though. <laughs> like, I feel like this... You got used be, to it. That's why. Ru- well, yeah. I got, okay. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, a Long Island in a shot would be hilarious. Like, just ridiculous. Endgame. You know. What was the one? <laughs> did we have one for a comedy of errors? Or, or I guess since it's, it was absurd. Was the error? Since it was absurd, I guess it would be just an empty shot glass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aww. <laughs> That's a sad drink sad. right there. <laughs> this is um, absurd. Actually, I hadn't, I hadn't made a drink in the past couple of shows, I think. Yeah. I feel like. I feel like comedy of errors would probably be like the worst drink you could make, like chocolate. It milk should be two whiskey. shots because of the whole ah. twin thing. Wait, what? Like chocolate milk and whiskey, just like a complete like you do not mix that. Ooh. <laughs> no thanks. Fun fact: I've had chocolate milk and whiskey before. Wow! I Listen, don't, everybody don't, has a love. I man. don't <laughs> recommend it. it. It was yeah. We've all hit. We've all hit times like those. <laughs> That's that's rough. When you run out of mixers, you know, uh, and you're not man enough to drink whiskey. I don't think I would ever <laughs> decide. That. I don't think it would ever come to that. Like, if it's either straight or with chocolate milk. I would like, I I, I would order a pizza from Domino's to get a two liter of Pepsi with it, in in order to save myself from drinking. I'll take the extra hey man, steps. Three a.m. is a dark time. All right. Uh, it's a very dark time. Bailey's and lime juice. Oh, man, oh. that's bad, Matt. Bailey's. <laughs> Bailey's. Bailey's out of a shoe. <laughs> I tried to drink Bailey's straight one time when I ran out of alcohol, and I, I could not do it. It was just, it was too gross by itself. I, I put it in my like coffee Bailey's once. With coffee, but <sighs> yeah, that, I couldn't even force myself to do it. It's rough. It's rough, man. You think like, oh, you know, I'm like, drinking straight Jaeger over here. Oh, that's bad. No, I, I can't drink Bailey's by itself. I think my favorite show drink was the Dulce de Leche one. The the one from Guys and Dolls. Yes. Yes. That was a, that was a chocolate-based drink. That to, was delicious. To be honest, my favorite was James and the Giant Peach. The Peach Teen. That's the, my second favorite. The, the James peach and teeny. the Teeny Peach. Which I... <laughs> the Peach Teeny, which is... <laughs> they taste, dude. They taste just like pichos. Yes, they did. Did you guys make one for Picasso at the La Pinacio? Uh I think you know what? No, I think starting Picasso was when I started getting like you know missing every other. I feel like that would be like the best opportunity to make like a really good drink. It was because it took in a place bar. at a bar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like you take El- whatever Elvis drank, Einstein drank, and <laughs> Picasso drank. And make boom. some abstract drink. <laughs> right. All right. That is kind of funny. Well, okay, hold on here. I, I feel like you could do well with this. So, like, I, I feel like you could get really abstract with creating those drinks. Like, for instance, I, like, I don't know my liquors well enough, but if you, if you took something that seemed, like, super scientific and something that seemed super... Like a beaker or a test tube... <laughs> Sure. No, I meant like alcohol wise. Um, oh, okay. Like something that seemed super scientific or or even sterile, like a vodka of some sort. Like hypnotic? Like you mean the kind of like the color? Yeah, yeah. Hypnotic. And then took something that was super artsy and like fruity and or or blue specifically because it was about period. his blue period. And and then you took We're intellectuals. <laughs> yeah. And then you took banana. For Elvis, because he liked the peanut butter and banana sandwiches. And that was my Elvis impression. Do you yeah. like it, guys? I, I'm having a good time here. I was Elvis, for the record. <laughs> yeah, right? That's true. He was Elvis. Um, Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, you, take, you take those three things. I actually think banana would work well in a drink. Like, I, I don't think it would be too bad. Like, you know, I, I don't know. Or, or hear me out on... Um, the complete other side of the spectrum. Now for something it's a drink. Completely different. It's a drink. It's just a drink based on Schmendeman. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's it's part. But what is it? Part concrete. Part. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just for the record, this was Schmendeman. Yeah, I was, I was Schmendeman. Yeah, Schmendeman was basically if a used car salesman was dumber. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, that was that was Schmendeman. It was I loved him. It was pretty great. Oh. Pablo, Pablo, you actually gave me uh, 
an interesting thought earlier. Um, so we were talking about like bar themes uh, earlier in the stream, and you brought up like beakers and stuff. What about like a scientific themed bar? Ooh, so like the bar had to wear the lab coat. <laughs> drinks were served in beakers. Shots were served in test tubes. A lot of the drinks were super like you know like colorful blue. Interesting looking. It know. wouldn't be hard to do. Right. My no, dude, that's not I would go. I'd be there. Premise by any means. And like and then you could always throw like, you know, a basic bar, but you could throw like pops, like, you know, stuff you could buy at Spencer's, like right. black lights, the little lights you touch your hands to and the beams go to your fingertips. That would oh be my awesome God, dude. and not you should expensive. have like x-rays like displayed sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> like on, right. On some walls. And and in the in the in the very back, um, like far away from anyone is a small like Tesla coil <laughs> that's just creating lightning constantly in the back of the bar. Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> like if that was a bar in Dubuque, tell me people wouldn't go to that all the time. Oh my god, I'd be there every day. <laughs> I, I would. I would become an alcoholic. There's like there's one um, German themed bar in Dubuque, and it's 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 pretty sad. It's really... If you go to it, there'll be, like, four really old people drinking Budweiser at it. And that's about it. Are you talking about the one we went to that one time? Did we go there? Maybe? I don't think so. I literally used to live right next door to it. It was in, like, northeast of Buke. Like, yeah. a hole in the wall. I don't think we went together, though. Didn't we see that one band there? No, they don't have bands. Oh, never mind. They definitely mind. don't have bands. They're a restaurant during the day. And then no, probably probably yeah, no. small... <laughs> nope. Small minuscule hole in the wall at nighttime. There was a, there was a bar that we went to um, one time. I forget what it was. It was like I feel like it was around the time of the march or something like that. But we went instead of going to the march. I can't remember. No, I, that can't be right. Usually we just go like Fats or the Doghouse. Yeah, the but we went to this. We we did. We went bar hopping downtown. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. You remember that? That was when I lived in the studio apartment. Yeah. We literally just went like, okay, there's a bar right up the street. Oh, yeah. there's another one right yeah. up the street. And and we we found this this weird bar. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It was the and one across from the courthouse and the cops place. Yeah. yeah. And, and the uh, police station, excuse me. Yes. It was literally like this small little one room bar, like not big at all. Yeah. Right across the street from the police station. Like, who's going to go to that bar? Right. <laughs> That's why I asked her. I was like, do you guys get, like, a lot of people here? She's like, we have a couple regulars and a lot of cops. I was like, oh. It's a cop bar. <laughs> it was kind sense. of awesome. It like, makes sense. Great. Like, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it because we sat there and we listened to this band for a little while. Like, I was all there. Like, I got one drink there. But we sat there for, like, 20 minutes listening to the band. It was awesome. It was super cool. But yeah. No, now that I'm thinking oh. about it, that that bar was actually down the street from the cops bar. Yeah, it was all on the street. I don't know. Street. We went to uh. like five bars. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. You now. guys carried me home that night. I yeah, I do remember that. I did do. I had a rough night. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fun time. That it was, was <laughs> from what I remember. It was, it was good. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Anyway, was, guys. I think. Oh, sorry. Real quick, then. Um, no, I, I I can talk about it at the. At the next half. Okay, for sure. Yeah, guys, um, I, it's time to break the seal. We are going to take, <laughs> you know, with a bar reference. Um, I went right before we started. <laughs> so, yeah, I need to go again. We still got to go. Me too. Uh, we, are, we are going to take a quick break. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. Uh, stick with us, and we'll be back talking about all kinds of our bar experiences uh, right anyway. after this. Or, or something like or that. Something. I, I don't know. <laughs> Just don't don't leave. Hang with us, and we'll catch you in just a minute. And when you came inside, dear, my heart grew light and this whole world seemed new to me. You're really 
Just while I have to admit you deserve expressions that really fit you. And so I've racked my brain hoping to explain all the things that you did to me. Oh, me, Mr. Shane, please let me explain. Oh, me, Mr. Shane, means your plan. Oh, me, Mr. Shane, again I'll explain. It means you're the fairest in the land. It means
Today. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting you to be funny today. Oh, hi, we're live. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're live. I yeah, it's great. Anyway, hi folks. Um, welcome back. Uh, we uh, we took our uh, took our tinkles and we're. <laughs> I, oh. I'm sorry. It's it. I apologize. Uh, but anyway, we are to the little boys' room. We are, we're back Tinkle. from the little boys' room, <laughs> oh, and we God. are we are ready to order another drink. Um, that makes me so uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why it does. If if you've just shown up, this is uh, and we got canceled. The, and we got canceled. If you've just shown up, we apologize. Uh, no, if you just showed up, this is our episode about if I owned a bar or if we owned a bar, I suppose. Uh, so we're just talking about bars and we're talking about drinks and and what we would do if we had the keys. To own and operate our own bar, I think it would be super fun. If you did just show up, I do want to just mention, feel free and be sure to follow us at uh, twitch.tv slash Sundance Streams. Um, and, Look at uh, you saying that while, while drinking. Yeah, I know. It's a lot, right? But yeah, <laughs> feel free to drop a follow. Every follow counts. Uh, we are trying to reach affiliates so that we can give you guys some awesome perks uh, we're really, we're really hoping to get there by Christmas. <laughs> we're so close. We're hoping, guys. We're, we're Tell not, your friends about us. We're, we're not close, but we are over halfway there, which is awesome. And, uh, if you are watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for those notifications. Um, and come to Twitch. We want to talk to you guys. And yeah, come to Twitch so we can chat with you in chat here. We love talking. We love participating. It's awesome. And, uh, you know, we want to answer your questions. 
But if you have any ideas for us, any topics, anything like that that you want us to talk about, feel free to drop it in chat, comment on the YouTube video, or if you want, you can follow us at our Facebook page, which is that 20-somethings show. And uh, you, can, you can follow us there for all of the updates, and you can also send us a message with any sort of uh, chat topics you'd like to hear about, anything like that. We'd love to hear from you guys. We really appreciate your viewership. So, yeah. And that's my big plug for the day. Now I'm going to take another drink. Also, follow Matt. Mm. Yes, also, big shout out to Matt. Um, we do, uh, we, uh, sh uh, Matt is our, oh, I, I didn't shout out Matt. This is what I get. Hi. Stop drinking. You're so I'm an off. idiot. You're it's fine. Off, Matt, man. are you there? Because if you're there, you're so much better at this than I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, there you go. Thanks, hey, Matt. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> shout yourself out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Matt, uh, Matt is super awesome. I, I had the opportunity to check out his stream the other day. Um, he played a lot of different games that time, but he did end up with, uh, Super Mario Sunshine, which was, which was pretty fun. Which might I add, I'm a video game expert. True story. True story. I actually am. <laughs> and, uh, that is the best Mario game out there. That is a fact. I, I still personally like, uh, the Wii version of Super Mario Galaxy. That's okay to be wrong, though. That's oh. okay to be wrong. <laughs> I'm so hurt. That's what I always say. Nobody's perfect, Jacob. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. <laughs> no, but anyway. Okay, whatever. But yeah, Says the guy Matt who was cut off after Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> follow Matt because he is the, the best moderator out there in the entire world, except for all our other moderators. They're also great. Um, yeah. but I tried you're... catching uh, his his live feed the other day, but uh, my lunch break just didn't coincide, so I got to watch it afterwards. So. <laughs> oh. Matt, I'm trying to support you, and you say I'm wrong, and <laughs> says I'm wrong. No, well. Matt said I was wrong. Oh, you so are wrong. Fine. Yeah, oh, okay, I was then. wrong. Yeah, but, but <laughs> give me my... some, Matt. Give me some, man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Michaela, thank you. I appreciate it. Super Mario Galaxy for the win. I was just so fun. Anyway. Uh, Anybody play Mario Paint? <laughs> <laughs> On the Super Nintendo? You gotta no. have the, the mouse and the pad and all that garbage. Come on now. Damn right I did. <laughs> <laughs> what a nerd. Right, I'm, I'm at beautiful down mosaics. Down. Yeah, so drink nice. of choice now is uh, ye old spiced rum from El Capitan. That's Spanish for the captain. Um, oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway we're having a good time we're having a good time i can't read <laughs> <laughs> but pablo right before i went to break i did cut you off so i wanted to get back to what you were talking about i i super apologize i'm so sorry you're but, fine uh, you're fine but, but matt says the fly swatter game on mario paint my man knows <laughs> my man knows that's great that's so fun jacob you'll you appreciate this they had uh that's uh that's uh pep so the Pepso. uh Pepso, the, the 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 love drink i don't know <laughs> uh jacob you'll appreciate this on mario paint being super nintendo and all had basically what note flight was but with uh like emojis for different notes and different sounds for them oh god that's great i love that i i never played paint so i i i didn't know nobody played paint it's okay <laughs> oh michaela is it's, sad. i play paint <laughs> <laughs> Michaela is sad. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. Michaela, um, Michaela's my wife who's commenting for anybody who doesn't know. Uh, that is our captain. We <laughs> <laughs> listen, now. listen, we had vows. <laughs> <laughs> What's mine is yours, I said. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that so much. <laughs> Once you sign that paper, that captain became ours. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Pep no. Yeah, Pep no is the opposite of Pep C. That's a Spanish joke right there. Pablo ah. did it. <laughs> but anyway, I did cut Pablo off, and I feel terrible about it. So please. Don't feel terrible. What were you talking about, Pablo? Uh well, it's it just so happens on on Facebook just a couple days. ago. I want ago. it to be really disappointing now that we've waited and hyped it up this month. It probably will, cause the, the way you're hyping it up, it was just gonna be me mentioning something. <laughs> but, what was it? <laughs> All right. So when I say it, I want you guys to 
you know, have your minds blown just, just to match the, the hype. Absolutely. So, um, so I'll do it like I was going to say earlier. So okay. I, was, I was scrolling through Facebook a couple days ago and I saw a video for, I don't know if it was a restaurant or a bar, but it was Tim Burton themed. That's crazy. Whoa. Dude. A Tim Burton themed <laughs> restaurant or bar and or bar. <laughs> bro, 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 bro. Hold on. Tim Burton is my favorite director. That's insane, Pablo. man. Holy crap. Tell me more. It, it we just need happens, to know. man. It, I was just Holy rolling crap. by. No. No. They the had a few juice meal. Johnny Depp was associated. <laughs> no way. Well, that's when they, they served Captain Jack. Oh, yeah, right? oh, my favorite whiskey. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, boy. That no, cool but that is that great, though? though. For real. Like, like with, the, with, his, with his very unique designs on the walls, murals, or even the ground. And it, was, it was just very immersive. What is that? What is his style? It's, it's German... Expressionism. Thank you. German yeah, Expressionism. That's in the, official, that's in the style. Yep. Yeah. That's it's he's ex, he was ins, inspired by classic horror movies of you know okay. uh, of the black and white, very shadow yeah. um, and very abstract. Everyone so very, that's where he gets a lot of his gothic. Um, I just always assumed he was semi insane. <laughs> well, also, he is. Well, the rest yeah. of genius. The rest he just of channels genius. it some through. Yeah, through right. Something else. So don't get me wrong. Uh, every once in a while on this show, we do drop bits of knowledge like German expressionism, but <laughs> mainly the show's a shit show. It's just us shitting around. It's so, all. Yeah. Let me tell you, this is my first time on the show. It has felt like a shit show. <laughs> Thank you. Then we've done I, it I right. I take that in the best way possible. It was meant to be a compliment. <laughs> yeah, good. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, no. But to be honest, a Tim Burton-themed bar would be awesome. Like, yeah, could no you doubt. imagine? Could you imagine the weird drinks... Like instead a of a bloody tea party booth, can you imagine that? Shit? In, instead of a bloody Mary, they would serve a Sweeney Todd. Like, ooh, uh, uh, right? <laughs> like I could totally get down for it. Like, like you know how different bars have all of their th- drinks. Like, well, themed bars, like the aviation themed bars, they have like a Cessna that you can get, which is just like vodka and orange juice it's a screwdriver Uh, or you know whatever but they have like different names for their drinks i think a a, uh uh i was about to say a sweeney todd themed one but a a tim burton themed bar would be awesome because of all the different drink names and you know now that he's uh now that he's gonna work on an adams family series there has to be a waiter that's just that's just a hand just thing doing all these different (laughs) drinks right Right, exactly. <laughs> Can you imagine that shit? Yeah. I wasn't even thinking like drinks or waiters. I was just thinking like the layout of a bar. Like you oh, get yeah, to no, a that... bar, you have to go up this big hill, which has like <laughs> just ends in a wall because the actual entrance was a door to the right as soon as you entered, like just a, a spiral staircase that gets get narrower there. and narrower. Yeah, right. <laughs> It's black and white checkered, but the checkered is in weird, like, oddly shaped and, like, uh, oddly proportioned pattern. Complete fire hazard. <laughs> oh, totally. <laughs> I, you know what's funny is the, uh, so Tim Burton has a very specific style, and I loved his version, his Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I loved it. Mm-hmm. But I, I think what's funny is oftentimes I get one scene confused because it's just so Tim Burton. The Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory oh. with Gene Wilder, where he walks yeah. in that room that gets kind of narrower. The forced perspective. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. and then he's there, and then the door opens up to a different location. It's the same yeah. door that they went in. Like, that always just seems Tim Burton to me. Yeah, yeah, I can I, see that. I completely agree. I, I, like, I just feel it. And, and so, yeah. But uh, I definitely could see that being a room in the bar, like just a, a forced perspective kind of room or something. I, I like the idea of themed drinks where like uh, there's a drink with chocolate liqueur and it's like the chocolate Ooh. factory. And then yeah. there's, a, there's like a tequila sunrise or something and it'd be called Golden Ticket. And, <laughs> you know, just like I like the idea of that. I think that'd be super funny. The anima- <laughs> the animatronics singing are very Tim Burton's. Can we talk about that they yeah. they 
caught on fire as well, like just to add to it. Yeah. <laughs> and and the perfect <laughs> fire in a fire hazard. John, Very Tim Burton. Yes. <laughs> Johnny Depp was so good in that movie too. <laughs> so unlike anything else he's ever done, and where he's just like. <laughs> where where Mike TV's just like, aren't you supposed to be up there? And he's like, well, I couldn't very well watch the show from up there now, could I? And I'm like, Which, shut up. It's got a point. <laughs> so good. Sure. <laughs> Makes so much I'll sense. I'll get behind that. I love it so much. Uh, uh, man, I miss Johnny Depp. He needs to be in more things. No, he, he's done. No, he needs to be in more. He was literally just kicked out of his last major role. I know, and he needs to do more because I, he was wrongly accused and Warner Brothers said they didn't care. Okay, okay, I have no idea about any wrongful accusing or <laughs> rightful accusing. I wasn't in the room. <laughs> but I will I will cheers to he needs to be more because I, I absolutely love Johnny Depp. Here's to Captain Jack Sparrow. Here's to Captain oh, Jack man. Sparrow for sure. Man, but it's not just Captain Jack. We're going to get on a whole Johnny Depp. He, okay. You don't want to get into it, Matt. No, oh, I, I got to get into it for no. a minute. So, so We can make it its own episode. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, to be honest. So to, to just make a, a long story short, he, his wife accused him of uh, abuse, basically. F- like, physical. Yeah, yeah, physical, domestic violence, domestic abuse. And it turns out, that she was actually physically abusing him. And so she was in the wrong. But because he's a super celebrity and this went to court and all, he was canceled. And so he was on the very wrong side of this issue. And I, I feel like, like, obviously I wasn't there. I, I, I am not part of that couple. I've never, I've never met them. I don't know anything. But all the evidence is stacked against her. And Warner Brothers, when that came to light, and all the evidence was stacked against her, and the court case fell through because there was no evidence against him, Warner Brothers was still like... They rehired him and then released him again from that major role because they were like, it doesn't matter, you're still getting bad press. And, and just to clarify, when, when, when I say he was canceled... Um, he had, uh, for those of you that know, don't know or don't know about Harry Potter, he, and spoilers, uh, for those of you, uh, he was the main we bad guy in the new Harry Potter movies, uh, Whoa. the crimes of Grindelwald. 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 Yeah, Grindelwald, uh, Dumbledore's best friend and major enemy, he was Grindelwald, and he has officially been released and will be, uh, replaced for the next major motion picture in the franchise. Which I think is stupid. Okay, I want to read Matt's comment because it's super large, so I'm going to read it out loud. A few years ago, I stood behind someone at the theater who asked if he could buy a ticket to a different movie but still see Fantastic Beasts because he didn't want to give Johnny Depp money. <laughs> wow. That's Yeah, well, that's when, that's when the allegations against him started coming out. But it turns out that it, like, <laughs> at least at least the way I understand it, it turns out that it wasn't him. Like the court case got thrown out. It, uh, it was it was not his fault at all. And like uh, now the internet is up in arms because a bunch of people are like, this is ridiculous. Johnny Depp got wrongfully accused and now has lost jobs because of it. Because it's ridiculous. I don't know if he did it or not. I, I really don't, but I feel like your personal right. life should be separated from your professional. Yeah, and also I feel like if there's a court case against you and it turns out that in court you're proven to be innocent and not guilty, then you shouldn't be losing jobs because of it. <laughs> like, I I get it. If, if you do some messed up stuff and you go to court and that stuff is true then you probably shouldn't be still working in the public eye. O.J. Simpson's doing fine. <laughs> is he really? <laughs> he is. I don't know anything about O.J., to be honest. I, I, the, hypocr- I, the, uh, the, the hypocrisy of like the statement that Matt just made about like somebody wanting to buy a different ticket but still see the movie, Like, come on. Johnny Depp's already been paid. Well, yeah, that too. The only person you're hurting is, like, 
the, the box office. The, the company that's that made it. the movie. Yeah, they, uh, yeah. it, it's and that's like almost stealing and, at that point. And all the other actors. I don't know. I that's oh that, that just grinds my gears. I can't even explain it. It's because I've been drinking uh, straight Jaeger and now Captain and. You know. We're talking about that'll do it. Yeah, you, depth. yeah, your that'll eight bucks it. isn't gonna do that much, <laughs> for real. Like seriously, right? Besides, oh man, <laughs> yes, yeah, it's it's ridiculous. But anyway, so Johnny Depp needs to do more because he has been he has been so good in everything that he's been in. He was, Todd. he was he was he was different. That's the thing that I love about him so much is his his Willy Wonka is nothing like his Jack Sparrow, is nothing like his oh, no. Mordecai, is nothing like his anything. Grindelwald? He makes he makes bold choices. That, he does. That, and and they that. fit the character so well. But the thing is, he could be any character. Very, very seldom does he play Johnny Depp in movies. Uh, to be honest, I actually, for a long time, didn't know how Johnny Depp acted like i i never saw him do <laughs> interviews i can only name one that like I, it was johnny depp in a movie it was the one where uh he's the guy that died but plugged himself into the computer and you, maybe oh you um, so it wasn't a huge one it was a good movie but it's, he doesn't hear, but essentially he his his subconscious became an ai yeah i um, definitely know what you're talking about yeah, but i can't remember he was he was johnny depp in that he acted oh, exactly what was like that himself one? you know he acted was it transcendent and stuff but he was him. He wasn't Jack the Captain Jack Sparrow. He wasn't Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka was fantastic. So underrated, that was right? Such an amazing performance. Ugh. You don't even know that's Johnny Depp in that movie. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, until somebody tells was... you, you wouldn't even guess it. <laughs> it's incredible. I was telling Jacob that's freaking acting. <laughs> Sorry. I was telling Jacob uh, that um, I read somewhere that the way he was basing his Willy Wonka performance was. Would he envision George W. Bush be uh, giving somebody a tour while stoned? <laughs> Which I think is just great. <laughs> oh, wow. Can you imagine, though? Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I just feel like George W. Bush was always stoned already, so even more stoned. <laughs> just even more stoned. Back when Republicans got stoned, man. What a time. What a time. <laughs> the good old days. The good old days. Oh, boy. No, but yeah, it, uh, it, 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 he's so good. That and should be a quote right there. What? Back when the Republicans got stoned. <laughs> Back when the Republicans got stoned. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I definitely enjoy that. Anyway, off of our, uh, off of our Johnny Depp train. Sorry, yeah. No, it's okay. Really it's all good. Us. Man, we need to cut it out. We're talking about bars today or something oh. like that. Um, but yeah, so uh, Johnny Depp, man, great. <laughs> He's an alcoholic. He loves you know, I, so we did end up talking, you know, quite a bit because of the Tim Burton thing. So that's funny. <laughs> it is funny. It so it wasn't it wasn't uh, a mistake to continue to bring it up. I I, I appreciate you talking about it. And but, just for the record, I would love to go to a Tim Burton bar with the both of you. I feel like that would be. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> To be honest, I would just love to go to a bar with the both of you. <laughs> I miss bars. <laughs> I miss you, man. Uh, Dude, uh, I miss every like I'm like you said earlier. I get it. I'm with my with my family. I love them dearly, but it's just different. I but I also hate them. <laughs> <laughs> I just I realize I can't be here for too long. <laughs> yeah. I've gotten used to that. So for those of you watching who don't know, uh, a little behind the scenes. Uh, Brandon is just visiting me before he ships out uh, to to basic for the army and army uh, infantry. Woohoo! And uh, so he's just he's just joining me here for the day, and I haven't seen him since August. I haven't seen him in a few months, and Pablo hasn't seen him in even longer. Yeah, so yeah, long like time. May. Like <laughs> this is so long. This is kind of our first conversation in a very long time, and so. You know, it's good to it's good to kind of catch up a little bit too. It's great to be here. I've had a great time so far, guys. Yeah. Thank you for having me. It's been a great stream. Uh, when you were yeah. so when you were getting all up in arms about Johnny Depp, I was like, man, we need to have this guy on more often. Like, <laughs> I was like, when are you free? Well, yeah, right. Can I? We can zoom you in, man. Yeah, man. I, I know for the next five months you'll be doing nothing but push-ups, but like almost six. Yeah. We, we can zoom you in. Come on. Uh, yeah. 
So what are the cameras facing from the floor? It's yeah, fine. Right. I'm getting screamed <laughs> at. So be sweating a little and... bit of distortion, but you know we'll make it work. It's yeah, fine. It'll, it'll be great. Man. We'll we'll just get drowned out by like the heavy breathing because it's so <laughs> close to the phone. <laughs> I'll wipe the sweat off the camera as it goes. Down. Don't worry. <laughs> right. I just see like, you know the the classic fisheye lens from the nineties. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> not, or early two thousands, really. But the classic fisheye lens. That's what happens when a drop of water hits right in the center of your camera. So I just, I, you know, just imagine dripping sweat, and then it's a fisheye lens on you, and there's like guys yelling at you. I think it's just so fun, man. I would enjoy that stream. Then all of a sudden he's got frosted tips, music's playing in the back. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> now with the frosted tips, please. Oh, yes. <laughs> Matt, did you ever have frosted tips? I have to know. Because I know I had frosted tips. Matt Way too might not late. remember, but Ten. there was one time in freshman year of high school that I came in with frosted tips. No! Which, in hindsight... No! Oh. I... In hindsight, it's... I thought you'd be the one. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Matt. Good job, brother. <laughs> I'm proud Good of you. Good freaking job. You Thank know, you. To be honest... It's always a mistake. I think I think all of us Oh, are... I realized it was a mistake <laughs> afterward. Yeah. I realized it was a mistake during, but it happened <laughs> anyway. Um, it, it was just because... Uh, so I was I was an actor. Pixar, it didn't happen, man. <laughs> oh, those, those are... Honestly, those are probably deleted because they were so long ago. It was nearing the the end of the semester, like the, the school year, so it was about to go into the summer. So I was like, fuck it. They're only going to see me for a couple weeks. So. <laughs> I actually have a similar story. During my uh, graduation, I dyed... So dink it, Frosted Tips! I didn't do that, but I dyed the sides of my hair blue and had a lime green stripe up the middle. So that's oh my god, Frosted Tips, <laughs> but it was specifically for graduation so I could do the whole of this action take my bow and get the laugh on stage Got <laughs> yes. the laugh i did thank you good good it, it was all you. worth it it was, it was. <laughs> make a fool of myself for no reason yes that's fantastic i uh so when i was in high school i we were doing like nine shows a year and it was ridiculous Damn, we, we, that's good yeah we were doing a ton that's of shows awesome. And so and he, he went blonder and blonder. <laughs> I did. So basically what happened is the first show of my, what was this? Was that your senior year, Pablo? Cur Nine was shows. Clue your senior year? Yes. Yeah. So it was the first year of, or the first show of my junior year. We did Mother Hicks and uh, I cut my hair real short for it because I had to play a 12 year old boy. Oh, well. Yes. Um, which at that point I was only 17, so it was only five years off. I, it wasn't that and bad. scrawny, and and I was super super scrawny too. I weighed like 96 pounds like, in high school, like okay. dehydrated okay. scrawny. Yeah, so it was crazy. So I cut my hair real short to make myself look younger, and then uh, immediately after that I played Colonel Mustard in Clue the Musical, <laughs> and so I, I I dyed my hair like a mustard yellow. Like mustard blonde, like you're, dirty blonde. Your Colonel Mustard weighed ninety six pounds. So oh yeah, away. yeah for sure. I had <laughs> shoulder pads. It was chill. Um, <laughs> Squared them up a little. Yeah, you know, it looked like I was wearing oh, my dude. dad's coat. What a to, great typecast right there. <laughs> it's because I to add that. to that, uh, there was one brief period in you know in the early development of it that they uh, Crow was thinking of everybody dyeing their hair their pers uh, perspective colors for the. Uh, for each character. Well, I'm glad that didn't happen because I would have walked around with purple hair. Purple hair. He, he played Professor Plum. So that was great. Um, and then immediately after that, oh, I forget what we did. Aida. Well, yeah, but that wasn't immediately after. There were other shows in between. We did Clock romance right oh yeah Just... that's right i wasn't in the shows in between i was like stage manager and stuff like that and that i produced the, that one. that's the year we did 101 with west middle school too so i stage managed that and or uh produced that and you stage managed i think we switched um yeah but regardless um so i wasn't in a couple of shows and then we did aida and Aida is like Romeo and Juliet. Have you seen Aida? I, I am not familiar. So for those of you who don't know, and Brandon, um, uh, Aida is like Romeo and Juliet set in Egypt. Um, so it's Elton John and Tim Rice 
the so same people, Lion King. The, the same people that wrote Lion King. Okay. And it's their kind of response to Lion King's success. They wanted to write another um, kind of Shakespeare-based musical because yeah. Lion King. In Africa. Is, <laughs> Lion King is Hamlet, and uh, so they wrote Romeo and Juliet out of Aida, um, and uh, so it was Egyptians an Egyptian prince, um, soon to be Pharaoh, and a Nubian slave princess um and so it was a star-crossed love story between the two of them but everybody had like dark hair dark features because it was a show set in africa yeah and so everyone had dark features and i i was set (laughs) i played the evil character and so those are the funnest yes it was so fun to play i was a murderer it was great <laughs> um like i murdered five people by the I end of the I show i never got the opportunity to be an evil person it was it was awesome it's but, so fun to do but i love you were decked out like a bond villain that was the best part though. yeah <laughs> it was it was super cool and what's even better is our director at the time was like, so since everybody else has all these dark features, I want you to really stand out as being the villain. So do you think you would be able to go platinum blonde? Like bleach blonde? Bleach blonde. Oh. And Which, I when went, you think about it, it's just the reverse color scheme of Scar and the, and the Pride. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I was like, yes, I will do that. Absolutely. Yes, I was evil because I was white. And, uh... Well, <laughs> got a spray tan. Okay. No, yeah, right? No, but, uh, so, so I, I cut my hair real short again uh, later in the year, and I spiked it up for the show a little bit, and it was all platinum bleach blonde. And then I had a scar down my face, um, you know, like a gnarly battle wound. Sure. It was awesome. And I carried around a quarter staff, and I was dressed in like a, a black, um, like one piece. I, I don't know what they are, but it's like a suit that goes kind of like Jafar all the way down, like Jafar. Okay. You know, yeah, yeah, like, like a robe, like a vizier yeah. kind of robe, sure. kind of thing with a red stripe. That's pretty cool. It was very cool, and and so it was super stark. But then I had like bleach blonde hair for a while and my hair started growing back in dark brown it's a natural color and so then as i cut my hair i had i had frosted tips it was great when it got to that summer i had frosted tips and for the fourth of july i dyed the the tips just temporarily red so and i spiked my hair so i looked like a firework it was it was really kind of funny I really enjoyed that time in my life. I, I was about to screen share the the picture, but I realized I'm on the wrong computer for that. Ah, that's okay. I, I wish I could screen share it, um, but I am also on the wrong system. Well, maybe I can. Uh, talk for a while while I find it. Sure. Fine. This is pretty off topic, but... <laughs> Do you even know what this show have you, is? Have you watched this show? <laughs> we were Changing supposed to be talking about bars. Changing the random non-bar topic again <laughs> to another non-bar topic. Um, do you guys have like uh, like a villain you wish you could play? Like I already know you love Captain Hook. You know me. But do you do you have like a villain that you ideally like wish you could play in a play? In a play? Yeah. Okay. Or even Thank you know, God. Okay. like a movie that could become a play. Oh, okay. I, I could work with that too. Uh, I was trying to narrow down the, the category. Um, oh my God, there's so many. In in an earlier stream, I said that um, if if genders could be reversed, I would love to do Cruella Deville. Yeah. Why, oh, why is that? My goodness. Yes. I I don't know. There's some there's something very, I don't know, just deliciously evil about her. She, just like 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 how. Her obsession becomes her own insanity, kind of thing. I, I really. my language for the child viewers, but she is such a narcissistic bitch. <laughs> yes, she love is. Her. She's great. <laughs> they're actually, uh, they're actually working on a live action film with that. Yeah, right now. I'm so pumped to see that. Man, they always ruin the live action films, though. Have you seen the new Mulan? It's, it's not good. I haven't seen it yet. Just, just don't. It's not good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. This is oh, God. the best oh, there picture is. ever. We are about to screen share you this, look, folks. You look like a lesbian. This is awesome, guys. 
This is great. Here we go. We're sharing it. It's public. Oh. It's live. Oh my god, this yes. This is it, guys. <laughs> so that... <laughs> Buddy, that's pretty rough. Yeah. Well, again, I was 17 years old, but that... I mean, you didn't have the glasses in the show. <laughs> yeah, I did not wear the glasses for the show. But yeah, that uh, that was what I looked like for Zoser. So that was fun. That was a that was an absolute blast. Um, I hope that showed up on stream for you guys. I, I have no idea how it looked. Oh, Matt um, said we're frozen. Oh no, are we still frozen? Mm, I think we're good. Are are we back? I'm so upset. We'll post it on the page. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll we'll post it on the page. We'll post it in the comment of the YouTube video. Um, and uh on the facebook page for sure um but yeah it's uh it's absolutely hilarious oh so but i guess if if it weren't for any any gender reversal i, I would i would have said probably jafar J jafar that's, that's yeah pretty cool yeah because i'm brown I I, <laughs> I I love jafar for sure i i have a very specific one that i have not played yet but i would love to play and it's not your typical like disney villain but it's uh, Rooster from Annie. Ooh, okay. He's not like a villain, but he is the bad guy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He's, yeah. And He's antagonistic. So, like, I would <laughs> love, insane. because I love Easy Street. Like, I just love this. <laughs> <laughs> I love just chilling out, man. But yeah, I would I would definitely want to play Rooster in Annie. I think that'd be fun. All of the other Brandon? villains that oh, I've wanted sorry. to play, I'm, no, it's fine. Just real quick, all of the other villains that I've wanted to play, I I have. I'll kill you. I'll oh, that's great. I've had it must be nice. Yeah, I've already got to do I've, it. I've, I've played Zoser. <laughs> <time. laughs> I've get played... out of my face, man. <laughs> uh, so Matt, oftentimes, uh, genders are reversed for that. Um, more often than not, Trunchbull is played by a man. That's a that's great. Trunchbull is an amazing character. That would be so much freaking fun, man. I love her. She's great. Yeah, especially with the cast of actual children. Oh yeah. Oh man, that would be so much. Fun. Can can you imagine um uh like a man playing the female Trunchbull? Um, like they did, I mean, they did that on Broadway. I don't want it to be a man though. I, I really want them to stick with a woman on that. Yeah. But could you imagine it with like a man with a, like a little mustache like mine where you can just barely see the hair is there and like, <laughs> you know, like just, I would love that so much. See, my whole thing is like women are, and this is, this is borderline sexist, you know, generalizing. They're For those of you who are offended, cover your ears now. Yeah, they're just women <laughs> I'm gonna go, hold on. are generally considered, you know, very nurturing, <laughs> the nurturers of society. That's why there's vastly more women uh, teachers than males and stuff like that. So when I see like a teacher or a principal, you know, I almost expect it to be a woman and stuff like that. And, you know, to be compassionate and stuff because that's yeah. our society. That's great. But to see that maniacal, like, self-righteous, <laughs> narcissistic evil, that, to me, puts it over the top. It, when it's a man, like, you almost expect that because, like, patriarchy and all that kind of stuff. So it's always like, oh, this, this, this dick, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. But when yeah. it's that woman who's that evil, horrible person, that, to me, puts it over the edge and makes Trunchbull such... An amazing, especially with how strong she is. She loves yeah. weightlifting, yeah, right. gymnastics. Like, oh, that to me just made her such a great character. I love her to this day. I love her. And, so that's a great movie. You know, that's yeah. what, and that's what Raw Doll does. You know, if a character is supposed to be, you know, evil, rotten, oh, we can, uh, just this. Oh yeah, on. sorry. You know, evil, rotten, or disgusting, or what have you. He will provide, a, you know, just a very, uh, a very well written very well portrayed character you yeah know, like miss trunchbull or like uh, i remember like uh he's just so good at doing grotesque the twits is another good example for sure matt, matt. thanks so much for joining us thanks for hanging yeah, with us uh we appreciate it you you are the best mod you are amazing yeah it was good hanging out with you man i'm probably yeah. going to see you again hopefully i do <laughs> man but yeah great talking with you you have a great night brother but yeah trunchbull is is truly amazing I actually got the opportunity to watch uh, a, I believe it was Matilda Jr. I could be wrong, but it was a, an all-child version of it. 
And okay. let me tell you, okay, um, an all-child version of it is super interesting. Because you have the kids playing kids, but then you have the teenagers playing adults. Yeah. And when teenagers play adults, it's really funny. To me. I just really enjoy it. And the... the satire on the... Yeah. But the girl who played Trunchbull was phenomenal. So good. I mean, like, intensely good at acting and very talented vocally as well. Just yeah. all out there. Is it like, a musical? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Live musical. That makes sense. It, sh it probably should be. Yeah, yeah. and it was written by um, uh, Tim Minchin. Minchkin. I think Minchin? it's just Minchin, yeah. Not Min not Munchkin. <laughs> no. I, oh, no, no, no. No, I, I, I was getting confused with uh, the producer's thing. Like, yes, Prince Minchkin. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but it was written by Tim Minchin, and he does, like musical parody songs and musical comedy yeah um it's really good and he's really talented at that kind of stuff but then for him to use those talents on the broadway level and put it in matilda it worked so well oh it was just so good i yeah yeah i love that i love that musical um but the the kid version of it was just so great and the kid who played uh who's the guy that like St the the kid that stands up on the desk and like yells during during naughty and all of that kind of stuff i'm not too enough bruce Bru uh i think it's bruce or no, something like that bruce was the one that he's the cake, cake one yeah yeah it's it was bruce then um yeah. it, the guy who played bruce was excellent too man this this kid cast was super talented like super good so, I was very impressed by it. Anyway, I'm finished with my rant and rave about it. If I could play uh, villains, um, well, I have two, and they're both, like, not realistic. Well, one is obviously got to be uh, the oh, Joker right yeah. there, man. I, I would die for the opportunity to play the Joker, man. That's Just Oscar bait now. My <laughs> mind. I would dive so deep into that. I would do exactly what Heath Ledger did. I would just, like... I would really mess myself up to play it because I'd want to do it the right way. Um, and then aside from that, you you guys aren't nerdy enough, although you are giant nerds, but um, and this is very unrealistic, but if Naruto ever became uh, a movie or a play, um, there's a character called Itachi who is just this evil, malicious, horrible, terrible villain throughout the entire series that he kills his own clan uh, and only leaves his little brother alive because his brother can o be the only one that will ever challenge him in a good fight, a real fight. Um, spoilers. Spoilers. We've had years. Spoilers. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we've had a, ch we've being, had a chance. <laughs> he ends up being the hero of the entire village, uh, but he's portrayed as a villain all the way up until the very end of the series. Wow. Um, that is kind of awesome. He though. even like tortures his own brother in, in encounters they have throughout the line just to maintain. I would love to play him. He is great. He, That's awesome. He, That's dynamic. He, you he, know. he yeah. continually forces himself to suffer for, for the greater good. All to portray himself as the, the greatest evil, but for the greater good. Uh, I love that. That would be a phenomenal role. I would love to do that role. Something that I would like to do at some point is, so I, I feel like, um, although probably this particular show will eventually go off the air if it hasn't already, although I think it's still running, um, but these types of shows keep getting made. Criminal Minds. Um, yeah, they're always made. They're always made. Yeah, you know, they, there's they always like going nothing. to be some sort of crime show. I literally just saw or, like two new ones announced the other day. Yeah, exactly. Crime never ends, Jacob. That got deep. Um, but I would love to play <laughs> a quiet serial killer type. I think that would be very interesting. For like an episode or a series? No, for an episode. I think an episode. <laughs> I would not want to get A whole series too is too much that. work. <laughs> an I episode, would... those get really complicated. But if you, or a series, excuse me, yeah. would get very complicated. But an episode, you can really show the, the extremes of your characters. 
have yeah. the most amount of fun. That that would. Yeah. Be, I feel like any actor would want to portray that. Role. Yeah. I, yeah. I feel like just a one-off. You know, one time, never have to deal with that kind of stuff again. I would love to play that quiet serial. Robin type. Williams got to do that in one of those shows. Oh really? Yeah. Because uh, I know he did uh, one hour photo. Yeah, but he he got to do he got to do like a um, a one time character for one of those shows. That, oh, well, that is pretty. I awesome. feel like you would do a really good job portraying one of those, just because you you're a mild mannered, quiet guy, and to see you go. You know, the funny thing is that would that. be fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that that would be fun, but. My I, I one thing I would really love to do, and it's on my bucket list, is to play a detective. You know, like in 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 yeah. one of those crime shows. I would love yeah. to sink my teeth into that. Yeah, I I no, would also. But, you know, getting to pretend I'm smart, I would I, I'd be down for that. I would also like to. So like, <laughs> at the same time as I'd love to play like the quiet serial killer type, I would also love to play, like in a comedy sense a detective very much like psych exactly not like monk because oh i was thinking more on the monk side of see and yeah but I, I like i could see you as a monk but i could also see you as like um i i don't know what the the captain's name is but from blue bloods it's tom Selleck in blue bloods oh i like him um and and he's you know the captain so he's not per se like a detective like monk where you're out and gonna solve that yeah. case every episode but he is a very steadfast leader i could definitely see you play that but i would love to be the goofy... you know, mustache for that i feel oh yeah you would have to it's tom Selleck's part i'll get the makeup department to really <laughs> okay, there that you go. <laughs> but uh you know i would love to play the goofy almost solves the crime by happenstance kind of detective like I, yeah. I like a very um, oh Clouseau, kind of. Oh, uh, dude, Pink Panthers. The uh, yes. Yeah, I, like I would love to do that. Not as farcical as Pink Panther, but but to you know to some extent. Yeah, for sure. I mean, very much like Psych. Papa, yeah. What was your last role? What's up? What was your last role? The one you did uh, with Seamus, and uh, uh, your last big play at UP. Well, Comedy we, of Errors, like probably, Endgame. We were doing about. Endgame until it got canceled. Or do you mean the one before? No, no, the one before that it was is Comedy of Errors, right? Comedy of Errors. Dude. You guys did fantastic in that. Uh, oh my god, dude! Working with Seamus was just like the you guys the highlight of the whole. Great thing. actors in that. I would just I just made me think of that. Um, I would love to see elements of like you of you taking elements from that, portraying like a, a comedic detective. That would be <laughs> dude, so that would... funny, man. Because oh my god like the, i i do love the fact that being shakespeare and all the soliloquies that have to be done mm -hmm. uh in the spotlight it had to be done as a as a film noir it, it was just it was just that extra thing that make it that that much worthwhile for me that was a really fun show to be a part of too like <laughs> so i know i wasn't like a huge part of it like you guys were in every single scene after mine but like you did a great job opening bro. that show was so job, fun brother. yes it oh was. my god so what <laughs> you I'm, had the palm of your hand i, I did I, I did. as an audience <laughs> and in the hopes of none of your fellow castmates youtube plus seamus made that show you guys I, did uh, such a good phenomenal jobs man At and seamus man i wish i could talk to him right now i wish he was part of portraying we'll twin, bring him in someday portraying twins man that was awesome. And being able See, to oh. portray the twins as different people with different characters. That was, that was a yeah. great show, man. You guys did a great job. With no set? Oh, hell of a show, guys. Hell of a show. Yeah. On, Take a bow. In my bucket list, that's another thing. I'd love to do a Prince and the Pauper kind of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So I, I do want to talk about comedy. Com com uh, 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 I'm going to take another drink. Uh, no. <laughs> before, I, bef I do want to talk about comedy of errors for just a second. Because yeah. I did something in that show that I have never done before, and that's play shave old. your legs. Yeah, sh oh. <laughs> <laughs> shave my legs. No, play old. I've never really played an old person like you did that in high school. I was the resident old guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were. So uh, <laughs> since you since you weren't there, you don't know. But Pablo and I, when we were in like every show in high school together. 
and I swear I would always get the villain or the funny guy. Those were my roles. Well, you got the best roles. I, yeah, they were great. <laughs> um, Philip Fox would always get the romantic lead. And He's the Pablo lead, man. Pablo would always play the old guy. Every single time. He if was there was, always if there was a, old man. a dad or an old guy, they're, they're like, all right, let's get, let's get Pablo. Yeah, at, he at, played at, Maurice at one point, in Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> At one point, I was telling Crow because I was gonna make, I wasn't gonna be able to make the auditions, and, he, and I said, "So, you know, can, you know, can I schedule an audition some other time?" And he says, nah, I, "I, I know what you sound like. I know, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. You're gonna play the old man. It's fine, man. <laughs> I'll get my cane." <laughs> but yeah, so I had never played old before, and so like I knew it was supposed to be comedy old. I knew it was supposed to be, like, yeah. very old. And so I was like, okay, who w played an old man who was not an old man? And one of, my, <laughs> one of my favorite movies of all time growing up was Mary Poppins. Such a, such a good thing to, like, and take after. And I don't know if you've seen the, the original Mary Poppins. I've never seen any Mary Poppins. Oh, it's so good. But Dick Van Dyke, who was in his 30s at the time, <laughs> played like an ancient man in it. Yeah. But he also played another part. So he, he had those two roles. But he played this ancient man. It, very like, brittle. Very brittle. Like, couldn't <laughs> speak at all. Like, very old. Yeah. And when, when I was doing that performance, I was desperately trying to channel my inner Dick Van Dyke. Like, I was, I was trying to it do worked. that. And then I watched the footage back, and I'm like, yes, I think I did it. I, like, I looked at it, and I'm like, holy crap. I looked more like Dick Van Dyke than I thought I did. I was like, yes. It was so fun. It was such a good show to be a part of. Anyway, I'm done geeking yeah. out about no, that. that made me like Shakespeare. Like, that turned me around on Shakespeare. Yeah. And so that's our favorite bar. Yeah, I yes. love talking about bars. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> I just realized that for the whole last hour now, we have not been least. talking it's, about it's, it's what the show is. It's the <laughs> nature of the show. That's talk about Tim Burton. Yeah, that's, <laughs> the, you know, we got on Johnny Depp and then acting. It's a crazy ride we've been on. Man. Can you imagine this wouldn't have happened? If I had just mentioned it before we left. <laughs> that's so true. I wouldn't even known where to go. Oh, that's great. Uh, anyway, but it is getting pretty late, guys. So I think we are about to head out. Uh, I do want to mention real quick right before we leave. If you haven't yet, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to come on over to twitch.tv slash Sundance Streams. And drop that follow. We'd really love the support and it would help us give support to you guys too. We want to introduce some channel points and we want to introduce some fun little things that we can do with you guys. And we'd love to have you interacting over here and chatting with us. Uh, we really enjoy having our conversations with you and uh, getting that feedback instantly. So uh, feel free to comment on anything. And if you haven't yet, check out our Facebook page. That's where we drop all the latest news on when we're going to stream and when we have surprise streams with surprise guests. And uh, so be and sure And some to, pictures. Yeah, like, and some pictures tonight. Like I'm gonna I'm going to post for blonde. sure that uh, bleach blonde picture of me. Um, and for anybody who missed the stream today, they will be very curious as to why. Uh, it'll be great. It'll be fun. But yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with us, guys. I am going to uh, I'm going to check and see here if one of my friends is streaming, and we'll see if we can get a raid going on over there. Um, it does look like Laura Wiley Piano is streaming right now, and she is actually streaming her um, playing the last five years, which is a musical that I actually directed while I was in college. And so I'd love for you to stick around and check her out. Um, so I will send it off to her. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. And uh, we will catch you guys on the flip side. Have a good one. Thanks for tuning in.